Hello people, today I'm gonna show you around the new instrument cluster or dashboard for the new Mac 2018 and my previous video like a couple months ago I'll show you around the cab and today we're going to check it out more closely how the new instrument cluster works and if you have any questions please leave it in the section below and I'm gonna try to answer to you guys so let's just start checking it out how it looks as you can see all right this is uh, the RPM gauge you have your temperature sensor over there temp uh, oil pressure gauge uh, DEF level you have your uh, speedometer fuel gauge and your pressure for the air tanks primary and secondary now let's check it out the main thing right that is the screen this is the screen you will see all the time when you are driving but if you feel like uh, it bore, it's boring for you to see the same, you can change it from here. This is the engine brake switch, but also contains the buttons to manipulate the menu. All right, this is to go up and down. And this one to check it out the menu on the left. And this one to check it out the menu on the right. Usually here is for the options in the screen, all right? So let's take a look how it works. The first thing right now, this screen, for example, is customizable, all right? And you can change it here, you see? And right now say display, but this is just to screen off. All right, the next one is the black panel. All right, everything should shoot off except for the RPMs and the miles per hour. The next one, all right. The next one, let's see, setup home. No, the next one is brightness, okay, to set up the brightness, all right. And the next one, speed units, miles per hour, kilo, kilometers per hour. We use miles per hour here in the US. Mm -hmm. And set up home, okay. This is when you can set up your home, all right. You can choose between voltage or you can put mag in the middle which I especially like all right here you can put the voltage the pressure on the tanks nothing you want a completely clean screen the engine load the percentage of the throttle the miles per gallon you use you have limited choices in here one of the things I don't like about Mac compared to Volvo is like, I believe Volvo is a little bit more customizable than Mac. But still it's nice to see that you can change couple things unlike Freiliner, in Freiliner you can change anything. If you have, uh, for example, the home screen, you, can, you have couple options with whatever you wanna look, but you cannot change anything from there. So this is nice from Mac. For example, right now I'm gonna leave, for example, percentage of the engine load, and I'm gonna leave this one in the throttle. And to exit, we just press this button in here, and that's it. You see, now that's the our new screen, right? As you can see, on the uh, left uh, top corner right we have your home and the compass and then on the right we have the or ambient temperature outside and the hour okay and as i say before 
if you want to change the hour on your CD player, right, you have to change it from here. You cannot change it directly from the CD player. You have to change it in here, and I'm going to show you in a minute how. Okay, you see fuel economy. This one has no options at all. It's just the display. Okay, you have other gauges like, you know, the voltage of the battery. You have air pressures. You have your distance. The, the trip one and the trip two for the drivers who really like to use these things. I have seen some drivers they use them, they use them, other than, but the majority they don't use them. They just keep driving. This is for the region. If you press the option menu, it's gonna ask you for request regeneration or delay the regeneration. Usually, I never suggest to delay the regeneration because if you do that, maybe later you're gonna have troubles trying to do it. So every time you see the light, just do it, okay? You press request and it's gonna ask you. Right now the engine is not running, so we'll say no. Okay, the next one is the you no know, drive train. So we already have those in our home. There is no notice. For example, if the check engine light is on or there is other things like accessories with problems, it's gonna show up in here. And we have our pre-trip assistant. This is one, this is those kind of trucks that comes with it. I have a Volvo had a couple things like this, but it's not completely like this. So you can take, for example, um, you can take the interior light inspection, the ex sorry exterior light inspection test, which you do the walk around and it's gonna turn all the lights, including from the trailer. So that's nice to have it, all right? You wanna use it. I'm gonna tell you right now, you walk around, you can see all your lights. And to get out, just press back in here. And now we have our light switch test checklist, all right? And what is good about this is like you can turn on, for example, if I turn on, right, you see right now, there is no checkbox in the left turning signal, right? And I'm gonna turn to the, to the left and you see you sure up and now to the right and now we press the separate brake okay hazard lights but are here it's all right we have parking lights we are in here and see now they're on headlights all the way fog lights just pull out, high beam, high beam we have it here, and you see, all switches have been tested and they're fully functional. Okay, so now we check these and we go back. Mm, we go back and we check the air brake leak down test, okay? Right now, it doesn't say start test, it says release the park brake. But this truck is not shocked right now, but I'm gonna try to do fast. And now you see, I have to hold here, and I say start test. And we're gonna wait for a minute. I'm sorry guys, you had to wait for a minute to complete the test, but that's the way it has to be. Um, Talking about this test, if there is like dropping a lot of, at the end, if there is a lot of, like for example, for 100 goes down to let's say 80 or 75, yeah, you really have a, probably like a considerable air leak. And if it drop down like from half of it, like 50, yeah, you have a big air leak and you should check it out, what's going on, okay? So now we're gonna wait for 15 seconds more and see what's going on. As you can see right now in the start, it say 101 and 100. So let's take a look how this thing is gonna end. In three, two, one. And you see, it says zero in the primary and minus one. So 
we're good to go and that's nice to know okay let's pull out the parking brake okay and as you can see you say increase air about 100 psi otherwise it, you won't be able to do the test now let's go back let's go back and we have our vehicle diagnostics all right here if there is any active foul you will be able to see it in here all right guys any regardless to let's see engine is you transmission is you abs instrument cluster vehicle is you light control model your chief and after treatment control module uh many people can say oh this one looks exactly like volvo yeah but it's a slightly different it's like a, it's like it's like an updated version and this one is the cluster self-test we already checked this before and other but this one is just one test as you can see the screen tools on red blue green and also checks all the gauges to make sure everything is working and if you want to go out just press this button in here back in here okay. Okay. and we're done now the speaker test all right i hear dot sometimes check that so it's good to know uh telematics get weight if you are using gps directly from volvo or mac in this case you can check it in here right now let me see it's just give you the info whatever is is for it i'm not sure and that's it in diagnostics all right engine oil level it says in the in the middle which is good in general info your correct location in the case you broke down and here you can check it and you can send these coordinates to the roadside service that's good life of vehicle totals this is everything what's going on with this engine as you can see this one has 59,000 miles already it has almost 2,000 hours on service it has used around 9,000 gallons of fuel mm. everything you can see here sorry Let's see what else we can find highest vehicle speed 85 miles per hour uh, you have to be careful guys if your you know owner checks in here that you are driving too fast they will find out because let me see you can reset no you can't do anything actually <laughs> I already trying look look guys I'm trying <laughs> it doesn't allow me to do anything so <laughs> that's what it is right EATS status release when it used to be ATS before and as you can see here if your pro if your truck is having troubles to do region you come to this menu here and you can check it out if everything is on green it means you're able to do the region if there is something in yellow as you can see right now it means you have to fix that but in this case the engine is not running so let's say engine not warm up enough and temporary lockout is because the engine is not worn up yet um service messages or see this one as you can see the little doggy in there i'm gonna bring it a little bit closer you see the little doggy in there it means it's from volvo and in case that you use their service message system so there you are um let's go back and these one are global units you see us in metrics obviously we use us in here fuel consumption units we use mile per gallon but you have the option to use miles per imperial imperial gallon liters per hundred kilometers and kilometers per liter all right for those in the uk um eco target this one is well, let's put 7.5 all right you can try to set it up with this in here and see and now we have 7.5 we have languages we have english french and spanish or espanol 
All right. And we have time and date in here. Here is when you can change the CD player clock, okay? You cannot change it directly from the CD player, guys. All right, and you can choose between 24 hours or just standard 12 hours. And actually, you can change the date. And system volume levels, we have it here. For example, you can hear the noise, all right? Volvo has a slightly slightly different sounds except for the system, which I believe this one is the same, but I'm not sure. If you don't want to hear it, if your car has problems and you don't want to hear it when you are driving it, you just come here and you can lower it. So that can help you, you know, to drive without being annoyed by the noise. And we have driver speed alert. This one is off, but you can turn it on in any case. You are driving at night and you're falling asleep or okay you can just keep it off right and you can set the speed at one for example here you can put 70 and it's gonna make noise at 70 all right and let me see i guess that's all we have for you today guys and i hope you like the video uh, we really check it out how this dashboard works thanks for watching and always appreciate your subscribe and uh, I, I, i'm gonna do more videos soon bye